This is a video I'm making of a solar tracker I've built myself, uh, which is controlled with a WST03-2 dual axis solar tracker, which is available cheaply on eBay, along with the RAMs. Uh, this has all been built out of scrap steel lying around. The main thrust bearing at the bottom carries, that's carrying the load is off an old John Deere tractor mower from the mower deck and then just a steel pin bearing up at the top. You can hear it tracking and hunting at the moment. The device that hunts for the sun, um, it's a very cloudy day today, so it's just hunting for the brightest bit of the sky all the time, which causes it to hunt backwards and forwards. But I'll upload a video which shows the thing working on a normal sunny day. As you can see, I built a frame that pivots on a stand uh, that can be pegged out to the ground. The whole thing was built to be dismantleable and carried and taken with us when we go camping for long times. And it's quite simple to put together. Run through the basic setup options. Uh, this is in its normal running mode and it's counting down before it takes its next movement. Press the set button and it puts it into this mode where you can move it east, west, south or north to align it how you want it to start up with or how you want it to be at the moment. Then press the set button and hold it for five seconds and it goes into this mode. Um, these voltages you can't alter. And then you come to the time periods while it's tracking between it doing its each movement. So at the moment it's set every 30 seconds it will do an east-west adjustment and then every 40 seconds it will do a north-south adjustment. Wind to the east, there is an option to fit an aerometer to measure the wind speed and so that if it goes above a certain level you can have the machine reset to a different location to avoid the wind and this would be the length of time it moves east under that condition or west or north or south. Uh, not, I'm not using that function and the time it will lock in that locked time before it goes back to normal operation. So this is the low sun setting. This is once it's gone below the level that it thinks is adequate sunlight it will wait this length of time and then it will start doing an adjustment to set it back hunting for the sun. I assume that normally when it's gone below the sunlight level it's the end of the day and I want the thing to maneuver back to the east so I drive the piston moving it to the east for 120 seconds and then to the west for five to the north for five and to the south for five for five seconds these are the normal defaults and uh, it just means it hunts backwards and forwards and ends up more to the east than anywhere else and then it's waiting for the sun to come up the next morning so this is the time for the sun recovery and then the accuracy which you really don't want to fiddle with and the wind threshold speed and sun threshold setting and then we're back to the thing when you finish you press quit and save it stores the values back in it and goes back to tracking. 